Today's been a good day, people, because I've upgraded my Notion setup. Oh, yes. And Notion Enhancer is what has made this possible. Do you want Notion's open database pages as a full page by default? Are you frustrated with all the properties cluttering the database pages and having to scroll down in order to reach your content? And do you hate these ugly scroll bars? If so, watch on. So Notion Enhancer is an application you have to install on your computer. And what it does, it adds additional features to your Notion desktop app. So it only works if you use the desktop app of Notion, either on your PC or Mac. So it won't change if you're using Notion on your internet browser, iPad or mobile device. There's a website you have to go to to install it, dragonwookie.me. I'll add the website address um, to my YouTube description. It's something that is not officially supported by Notion, but actually made by a teenage programmer from Australia called Dragon Wookie. On his website, you'll find instructions to install and a summary of the features. So here we have installation instructions for Windows or Mac OS and other platforms. I'm using a PC, so Windows. You have to install this um, program that will download um, and then execute this command in the command prompt. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, what you need to do before you do that is make sure that you have closed Notion. Back here, um, let's say I've installed node.js. Um, I have to open my command prompt. So I go to the Windows icon and then I type in command prompt. And then I copy and paste what I'm told to execute in this command prompt window. You'll see stuff going on uh, and it says success. So I can now close this window and start up Notion. So I've opened Notion and you can see it's looking a little bit different now. It might not look different straight away for you. Um, I've already adjusted some settings here. And um, what you need to do is open up Notion Enhancer. So you can do this by typing in Alt and E if you're on a PC, or you'll also find something in your system tray here. So here's the Notion Enhancer. And if you right click, then you can see the Enhancements option. And when I open this, you can see there are a number of settings I can customize. From tabs, tweaks, calendar scroll, selecting different themes. I've chosen the dark plus theme. I'm just going to go through some of my favorite features. Once you've made some changes here, you can just close the window. You may need to close Notion again and open it again before you see those changes. So I just made some changes um, on the enhancements and you can see I've selected a new theme. This is one of many themes that are available and there are both light mode and dark mode themes. One of the things you might have noticed is actually at the top there is a tab and what you can do now is open up new pages in new tabs. So if I wanted to open up projects in a new tab, I can hold down control and click on projects and it opens up a new tab, or I can just click the plus button and it will open up a new tab within the same window of your Notion application. So going to projects, my favorite feature is that when you click on a database page, it will automatically open the page up as a full page. And my second favorite feature, what you can see is that all the properties of this database page are hidden here. So I can click on show properties and then we can see that they're displayed 
and we can hide them again. And this is great for me because it means that I don't have to scroll down in order to see the main content of my page. As you scroll down, you can see the ugly scroll bars have disappeared. Instead, you have something much more sleeker and sexier that doesn't get in the way of your experience. And you can also see well when I've scrolled down is that there's a button I've added here, which lets me go back to the top of the page, saving me from even more scrolling. I did seem to find a bug where when I closed Notion and opened it up again, and I was on a database page and I had tabs turned on, then it wouldn't start Notion properly. In order to resolve this, I had to uninstall the application in which there's instructions on the Dragon Wiki website, go back to a non-database page and then reinstall the application. I've turned off um, the tabs functionality for now. That seems to have resolved the crashes, but overall it's a massive thumbs up from me for Dragon Wiki's Notion Enhancer. It's great that people in the community are building on top of what Notion has done. And there's a few more features you can check out if you download it yourself and maybe more updates will be coming from Dragon Wiki in the community. Uh, I look forward as well to seeing whether Notion will implement some of the ideas they have here too, officially. Also interested in hearing from others using Notion on what they think of Notion Enhancer, feel free to comment. The database enhancements in particular have been particularly helpful for me since most of my pages in my setup are database pages. Now, if anyone is interested in my Notion setup, do check out my website, gettrailblazing.com, where you can see a video tour and get my template. And thank you, DragonWookie, again, for making my Notion experience that much more enjoyable.